Hi, this is Pam from MasterCook. I'd like to welcome you to our MasterCook community. Today I'm going to show you how to use the MasterCook 15 product on your Windows computer. So after you make the purchase and you download and install the program to your computer, you'll see the shortcut on your desktop. So go ahead and use that to launch the program. And you'll see two windows show up and one is the main MasterCook 15 screen and the other one is the My MasterCook Manager. The My Master Cook Manager allows you to merge your files from a previous older version. It allows you to back up your files and allows you to create group cookbooks that you can then share with others. It allows you to sync your cookbooks and recipes and shopping lists with your account at mastercook.com so you can view them from your mobile devices. And for now, I'm just going to focus on the Mastercook 15 program on your computer. So you'll notice at the top there's this black navigation bar. And it takes you to the different sections of the MasterCook 15 program, such as the cookbooks, the search screen, the meals, the shopping, etc. So we will go ahead and go to the cookbook screen. And you'll see it shows you all your cookbooks that are within the program. And you can toggle back and forth between the title view and then the book view. you also notice there's this toolbar down here along the right of the program. These are links to commonly used commands that are, that are available for the particular screen you're using. So these commands will become active and you know, light up when you have a command available to you that pertains to this particular screen. So if you open up a cookbook, you'll see your recipes are actually inside the cookbooks. And you, again, you'll see you can toggle back and forth between the picture view and the titles view. And then you'll see, you know, you have these commands of things you can do while you're looking at these recipes. So you can select a recipe and then you can click on the little plus icon here and it'll let you add this recipe to a shopping list or to the favorites or to a menu. You also see if you open up a recipe, you'll get this recipe display view and you can toggle to the recipe edit view by using this pencil icon right here. And then this allows you to make the different edits to your recipe and including, you know, going to these different tabs. And you can add text here too. So you can toggle back to the recipe display view by using this icon. And then if you click on search, this will take you to the search part of the program. And it opens up with just a basic keyword search screen where you can just type in a word here and then just use these basic criteria here to search for your recipes. Or you can go to the expanded search and it actually gives you more things that you can search on. So you can search for recipes that fit certain nutrition criteria and other things like that. If you go to the meals section, this is where you can create menus and meal plans. A menu is for a particular meal like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. A meal plan is something that's over you know, a day like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And meal plans can have menus within them. If you go to the shopping screen, you'll see this is where you can access your shopping list and your pantry list. And so it comes with a sample shopping list, and you can just select that here to view it if you want. So you can kind of see how, what it looks like. And then the tips section of the program is where you can see tips about different ingredients, and um, you can also watch. Some of these have pictures associated with them. They'll have this little picture icon. And some of these tips also have like a video tip in them where you can watch a video from the screen out here. You just double click on it and it plays. And the favorite section is like a bookmarks. It allows you to send recipes and menus and meal plans and shopping lists and, you know, save tips here and things like that. So you have a quick way to get back to something that you, you know, added to the tip favorite section of the program. And the master list gives you a great overview of the program. It shows you that you have the cookbooks here and you can see the different categories within a cookbook and you can click on a particular category to see the recipes that are within that category within a cookbook. You'll see that it has, you know, your menus listed over here and things like that. One thing I want to point out here is you can open a second master list and then you have two of them. And you can easily copy recipes from one cookbook and into another by opening up a cookbook in one of these master lists. And then you can open up a cookbook in the other master list. And then you can actually 
drag and drop recipes from one master from the right side of one master list and into the right side of the other. See, so you, you'll see it um, changes here to a plus looking icon. That means you can drop it there, and then that will copy the recipe from this cookbook and into this cookbook. So I hope this gives you a basic overview of the program and we can watch the rest of our video tutorials if you want specific ideas and tips on using certain features within the MasterCook program on your computer. Thank you for being a part of the MasterCook community.